that was the most energy I could really muster at this moment because I am exhausted. I am currently in our new house in what will soon be my office. Like I actually will have an office space, which is wild. <laughs> like I've been dreaming of this day. But yeah, we're moving um, in a few days later this week and we're moving from our apartment, which if you're not new here, you've seen my apartment in several of my videos. And we've been here in this building for four years now, but it's just time for a change. We needed more space and our rent was going up by a lot. <laughs> Welcome to Miami. And so at this point we're like, it's probably just better to pay the same price or less and live in a house. So I will miss where we live because I love the water view that we have, but I don't know. I feel like I've never really gotten attached to physical places or like home. Maybe it was because I moved around a lot as a kid. I think, I don't know. I think my parents and I lived in six or seven different homes up until the time I was a teenager. So maybe that's helped me not really get to attach to a physical home. I'm really looking forward to it, even though like I hate the whole packing phase. <laughs> That's my least favorite part because being around boxes just like makes me anxious for some reason. It's like I can feel their presence. <laughs> it bothers me. So I don't like having to live with a whole bunch of boxes, but I get excited for like the whole moving day and then unpacking and like just decorating everything. Oh, it's so exciting to me. I don't even know how my hair looks at this point, so whatever. <laughs> I am so sore. Like, it's a Monday, and I had to divide my time up between working, packing, and also taking some things over to the new townhouse. And it's just felt like it felt never ending. And honestly, like, just holding up this phone to record this video. <laughs> is painful like that's how sore my arm and my shoulder is right now oh and there's still so much to do i feel like there's still so much that i need to pack and we're moving in less than 48 hours i don't know what i'm gonna do and i still have to work tomorrow so pray for us <laughs> It's funny because I've struggled with change in so many areas of my life, but then when it comes to moving, I have absolutely no problem. Even Ben was hesitant about moving because he loved our apartment and our apartment building so much. Meanwhile, I'm just like, I'm ready to move. Let's just do it. <laughs> Our last sunset in Bay Harbor. Are you filming me? Yeah. Yeah, this is our last sunset. A lot of vitamin G, because we know this is the last one here. It's a beautiful sunset too. It is. It's interesting how we're open to change in some areas of our life, but in others we tend to resist it. I've always hated getting new responsibilities at work, for example. I would get anxious and worried about it, probably because I was scared that I wouldn't know what I was doing. I was worried of not feeling good enough at what I do. I used to get scared of being in a relationship, especially when they would get serious, because then that would mean there would be more potential for me to get hurt. See where I'm going? <laughs> The changes we're scared of usually are because they hit a nerve within us, something we're already insecure about. 
So instead of focusing on the amazing opportunities that could come from this change, we focus on all the potential negatives. You're probably like, Natasha, why are you even talking about this on your moving vlog? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, moving is a change. And this move showed me that I need to look at change in my life the same way I look at moving. It's a new chapter, a blank slate, new opportunities. Look at all that could go right instead of everything that can go wrong. If I approach change in my life like I approach moving, then I probably wouldn't doubt myself so much. Seriously, think of a change in your life that you went through that didn't bother you. Something that ended up working out for the better. What if you approached any change in your life like how you dealt with that experience? What if everything works out? Guess who just put together her automated standing desk? Me. I did it all myself. And now my lower back hurts. Ig ignore the mess, cause it's, it's awful. But look at this. I did it myself and it actually works. Oh. My gosh, look at that. I mean, ta-da. Now I need to clean all this up. But this is gonna be my office. I'm very excited. I'm gonna get a lot of natural light. <sighs> it's gonna look really pretty. First walk at our new place. It's so quiet. Life is never all good or bad. Even at our apartment, which I absolutely loved, I have a mix of beautiful and sad memories. That's where we celebrated our engagement party. That's where I had many sleepovers with my best friend. That's also where I had the worst panic attack spiral of my life to date. You can't predict everything that will happen when there's a change. But the beauty of leaning into change is that there are endless possibilities waiting at the other end, many of which can be beautiful. So that's how I'm seeing our move and how I'm going to try to take on change in my life moving forward.
I'm excited for what lies ahead in this new chapter. Home is what you make of it. Home is with the people you love. Home is where you feel safe. So in that regard, any place can feel like home for me if I can make it my own and feel at peace there. There's still a little bit more to do to make this place feel like ours, but we're enjoying every step of the way. And I'm excited to show you more of our place as we finish getting settled in. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you could learn a little bit from this vlog. <laughs> it was like a mix of several different things like moving, life advice, you know, that's just, that's just how I am. I'm a little all over the place, a little self-help here, a little just whatever there. <laughs> So if you really enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. Thank you so much. I post videos like these about self-love and also some fashion videos. So you can go check those out on my channel as well. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Love you.